Today is January 3rd, 2010. I hope all of you had a good, happy new year. Stay out of trouble. And I hope you had a great Christmas. Uh, today we're going to do a review on the HP Mini uh, 110-1135NR. That's the model. Uh, this is a 10.1 inch netbook. Uh, pretty handy. It's come a long way from the its last predecessor that was out. Uh, the last review that I had done on this, uh, on a netbook, I think it was the HP 110-1000. And this one has come a long way. And we'll go over the differences between the units and I'll go over some of the features this one does have now and the, some of the software. And I'll kind of go over some details of what I've been able to do and what I've not been able to do with this unit. Um, it comes with a three cell standard battery. Uh, I did immediately bump that up to a six cell with what's on it now, which gives it a little bit of a lift, uh, which I think is good because it'll get so hot. And um, this did come with Windows 7 starter, which was immediately bumped up to Windows 7 uh, Home Premium. Okay, now these come with one gig of RAM, like every netbook out there. Uh, well, for the most part, there's a few you can buy now that come out with two gigs, but this came with one. And I did immediately bump it up to two. Um, these come with uh, one gig, 667 megahertz DDR RAM. And I have bumped this one up to two gigabytes of DDR RAM at 800 megahertz. And that is all these will support. So those of you who think you're going to slap down 1100 in here, I've tested it. It does not work. Don't, don't try it. All right, don't on this one. All right. Not a bad machine. I'll go over some of the pros and the cons of this one compared to some other HP models. Well, first, let me get my spec sheet here. Okay, I try to make this where I can get done a 10 minute video. Uh, this is a Tord Bonji edition, which is white um, and got these little, I call it more of a floral design. And they've integrated all around the machine, even though wallpapers and all that came with it. Uh, you probably can't tell, but it's, it's a nice finish, I guess. It's a little on the feminine side. However, um, at the day that I wanted uh, a 250 gig netbook, this was it that I could get locally. Uh, I picked this up at my local Staples store, so this is what I went with. And we'll go over some of the ports. Um, start off on your left side, your Kingston lock, obviously your AC cord, vent, USB port 2.0, and this is a headphone slash microphone port, which for me is fine. Your on off switch, over here you have a wireless on and off. This supports A, B, and G wireless. Might I add it does really well. I will do a speed test to prove that. You have two more USB 2.0s. This is a 5-in-1 media slot. I currently have a 16 gigabyte SD card in here, which I use for pictures and stuff of that nature. And then here is a VGA port. And then your Ethernet. Now, of those things, what this has of the last review I've done, the previous, the HP 1000 series only has two USB ports where this one has three. It, the previous model did not have a VGA where this one does. And you can see the battery sticks out just a little bit here, about a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch, where if you, the standard one it comes with does not, it's flush. The speakers for this unit, you cannot see them. They're kind of hid underneath here. And they don't, they don't sound too bad. I was actually really impressed with it. As with most netbooks out there, it does have a webcam. This is a 1.3 megapixel um, webcam with microphone, and it does support Skype. Um, not bad. Your trackpad is about a three by one and a half. I'm just guesstimating here. They have still got the buttons off to the side, which I have gotten used to it. A lot of people don't like that, but I don't have a problem with it. Pretty sensitive, uh, works pretty good. This is a 92% full-size keyboard, which, as you can see, the keys are a good size. They feel really good. They did improve the finish on the keys as opposed to the 1000 series. They feel much smoother, and they got a little more of a concave to them, so yeah, it just feels better. Um, there, this time around, on this video, it's going to look like it's a, a flat screen, but there is a little bit of a bezel to it this time. They, I don't know what happened to... The flat, the HP 1000 did have just a smooth, there was no bezelness to it, it was all solid screen. It's still a 10.1 uh, inch screen, but they have a little bit of a bezel. As you can see, it's probably a little on the glossy side. 
The thing that is good about this finish on this is because of the way the finish is done, it's got a 3D imprint into it. It's not overly uh, glossy, and it's not fingerprint happy, um, which is great compared to a lot of them out there. Um, something else here on the back. This is where you install your memory. It's two little screws, and it pops up. It's, it don't take no time to grade the memory. Uh, I'm running home premium on here with a two gigs right now. now I'm just booted up. As you can see here in the corner, this is a, a performance meter. I'm using, it peaks up to 8% uh, on the processor and about 43% of system resources. Now, as you can see, though, I've got a lot running in the background. This did come with Norton, which I'm not a Norton fan. That was immediately removed, and I'm running ABG 9.0. Um, it comes with Microsoft Works 9.0, which is fine on here. This thing runs great. Um, it did come with uh, home and home office edition trial, obviously. I removed that because I'm an open office person. Now, it does more than you think. It's a netbook. Now, with this bigger battery, it comes in weighing around 3.4 pounds, which isn't that big of a deal. I, I, can, oops, I can sit here all day long and hold this thing. I do it all the time doing YouTube videos and whatnot. Um, the internet speed test on it, let's see if I got the time to do it. You know, even though it's only got an A, B, and G connection, which most netbooks are A, B, and G, a few of them are offering in. Uh, I do use charter internet. Uh, this speed test is based on wireless. It takes a second to run the speed test, and it's just via through charter. Just to show you that uh, the wireless is pretty good on here. The webcam is pretty good, but for this video, I have to use a, a tr I'm using a flip video, which I'll do a video review on it later. And it's about done with the thing. It's a, it, overall, it's a great machine. I've not seen a lot of system resource issues. I have went into MS Config on here. And as you can see, I'm getting 15.2 megabytes on a wireless connection. So I'm losing about 4.8 megabytes being wireless as opposed to when I'm plugged in. Not a bad compromise. Uh, you can go to MS Config and turn some startup off makes a world of difference. This Windows 7, I was really reluctant, but I do love it. Uh, as you can see here, I run Virtual DJ on here. I have iTunes on here. Runs no problem. When I do uh, video editing, it will do it. It does take some time, but it will do it. I play uh, ABI movies on here all the time. This also supports Netflix uh, streaming rather well, might I add. Uh, I could do about 90% on this machine that I would do on a traditional laptop. So I'm not really upset about it. I've been really impressed with it. It plays Wild Tangent games if you're a user of that service. Um, I do know a lot of Netflix on here. If you don't know much about Netflix, it's it's great. Um, Nutsy Radio on here. I do quite a bit with this for it to be so little. And, of course, I run my home business on here. This is a great machine. Um, it don't run very hot, I can see here. It's not been on very long. It was on for about 20 minutes before I started this video. Kind of get already booted up. The boot up time on here is not bad at all. Uh, from uh, turned off to booting on, takes about 45 seconds. Uh, right now it's core temperature is 117 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not bad. As you can see the meter here, it's not even, there's not even a bar on the meter. I'm using 1.9% of my resources. So, not a bad machine. I think you'd be really impressed with it. Um, if you're in the market for a netbook, I think the HP would be a good decision. Um, it's, it's actually a really good machine. I don't think you'll regret it. Uh, I do highly support it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this netbook or any netbook, or you'd like to see a review on, on another product, hit me up in my email at cnacoons at yahoo.com, or I'm also on Facebook. Just uh, search Anthony Coons, and I'm in Cookville, Tennessee. I have a full profile, so I'm easy to find. And I hope you all have a great day.